How many hours a day do you work? Um, I probably do about like six hours a day work, but then I still got paperwork to do when I come home. But man's done them 12, 14 hour days. This is what you've got to do. Yeah? At some point in your life, yeah, you're going to have to be doing these crazy hours. Man. 14, 16 hour days. I had a guy talk about, oh, I was at my mum's house on, um, on Saturday and Sunday. And the guy was talking about, oh, you're just going to be the richest man in the graveyard and that. Blood, <laughs> you got to do these crazy hours if you want to get rich, if you want to get ahead. You think when Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk was was paying for, uh, paying for, was um was building out their business and that, you think they was doing a nine to five? Do you think they was doing a little eight hour shift and going home and watching Netflix? And oh yeah, I'll go to the gym for three hours after work and that. No. That man they was doing 16, 18 hour days. Motherfuckers probably wasn't even sleeping some days. Probably do 24 hours or something like that. I've heard I've heard Elon Musk say out of his mouth. Like I was saying in that video, you know, like you see them, you know, like them um motivational compilation videos and that where you got various different motivational speakers and like celebrities and that whatever but you know the grind and that so like Kobe Bryant was saying a few words and that Steve Harvey Les Brown Elon Musk was talking about doing 16 18 hour days but why do you think he's a billionaire he didn't become a billionaire doing a nine to five yeah, you, you got you got to do them crazy hours and that everyone has to do it you got to you got to do them 12 14 hour days it's got to be done it's got to be done. There might be one or two people walking around that never had to do those crazy hours and that, that got rich, but more than likely that ain't going to be you. So it's up to you. You can do your normal nine to five just like everyone else, and that's where you're going to be, just like everyone else. You're not going to be rich. You're not going to be rich. You can keep doing your nine to five like everyone else, and you can continue working till you're 68 like everyone else. I would rather work extra hours, make sacrifice, unlike everyone else, so that I can retire way before everyone else. Imagine, imagine, yes, yeah, still having to get up to go to work at 68 years old. Imagine that. I've got 56 people in this fucking, this live stream and that. Yeah? Imagine having to work to 68. Yeah, let alone having to work to 58, 60. You know, there's 60 people now. Let, let's try and get up to 68 streams for the sake of the, the time and age. You don't have to be worth working to them mad ages then. There's even chatting to someone the other day. They know someone who's approaching retirement real soon. They're talking about they can't even afford their rent once they retire. They're, they're having to move. They're thinking about moving outside of London to go and rent somewhere else because their retirement fund isn't going to cover their, their, their rent because of where they're living. This is what happens, yeah, when you just decide to just work some bullshit job and don't put in the hours and make investments in that. This is the thing, yeah, we sell ourselves short. We don't believe in ourselves and that we believe oh just working this job is good enough no it's not good enough you know right now yeah like there's oh, i'm telling you man i've seen that there's guys out here making some serious money there's man out here on a basic salary of like two grand sales but 10 grand commission every month no problem every month 10 grand commission every single month 15 grand commission every month there's guys right now who are going to need to go down to the Mercedes garage or the Jaguar garage tomorrow and break off two, three hundred pounds per tyre on their car because they're buying brand new tyres for their cars. Yeah. One of my cousins used to have a C63. He told me that each of his um, tyres on his car cost 200 pounds. That was at the time. This was like seven, eight years ago. And that. I'm thinking that like, my back tire on my motorbike cost that like, 200 pounds. Imagine having to do that four times. 